man, it's all about culture, car, car. You don't know, say, I went there, 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 I went there. And at this time, we talk about, you know, some aspect of our Jamaican or Caribbean or West Indian culture and so forth. And with us start today is a, is a person who is no stranger to y'all. No stranger, none other than Professor Carolyn Cooper. Good afternoon, Prof. Good afternoon, Raga. Why go on? Why have a day I know? How art thou? May I go on good, my son? Everything good, 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 yes, good, good. Yes. I, I can't call you Mama Lou. <laughs> 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 Listen, um, you and I were uh, talking uh, recently and yeah, so forth, and uh, we, uh, we didn't uh, really get to, you know, get in, uh, in the conversation a little bit, but we had um, segwaying into an interesting area. And, uh, and you know, and... It's usually a delicate issue. You have to be careful when you talk about these things, you know, particularly with um, people's propensity lately to sue for everything and so forth. <laughs> and but we understand. I, I read your article. I read your article in the paper, and I like the idea that you're writing it in part. Or I, you know, and, of course, this is not new to you in terms of what you're butter butter with and I struggle with for a long time in terms of legitimizing our way of speaking and things like that. But... um. You appear to be um, undergoing some interesting challenges now. Is that the case? Yeah, well, you know, um, sometimes I feel like I want to write in Jamaican, as I prefer to call Potter, because the Potter is a kind of general term, but we are right. Jamaican now. You know, it's coming out of our Jamaican culture. Right. But I find that sometimes the media, very conservative, you know, and it's as though they feel that they have to uphold standards. And these standards are always English as superior to Jamaican, you know. So even even the cleaner, you know, I'm supposed to be writing in English. And I wrote this thing where the Prime Minister Bruce is writing to God to deliver him from his crosses. And I wrote it in Jamaican. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, the editor said, you know, you're supposed to write in English. And I don't see how... I could have Bruce praying to God in any other language other than Jamaican. Because that is, <laughs> that is, given that given is, the seriousness of the situation, that, that at that moment Bruce would just uh, free up an attack to God in the language with, with which he's God, most comfortable. No, but then the question is, um, I mean, you raise an issue here. I mean, uh, you think that um, the Prime Minister would be more comfortable speaking in Jamaican than in the standard English? Well, let me tell you, after the election, the big election, you know, where they won three years ago, right, right. I heard the Prime Minister speaking in, I have to say, it's his former constituency, because I don't know if that is his constituency again, but uh, let me be him myself. But right, he right, right. In his, and he was speaking at a level I, I mean, I, I mean, the Jamaican that I heard him speaking, mm-hmm. um, you don't know that level of Jamaica, Raga Shanti, because he was now speaking to his, uh, his, his, con- his, you know, his constituents in a moment of great victory. And talk about, quote-unquote, brawling, and it was just yard Jamaican he was talking. And I like to introduce this idea of register that you can have different levels of Jamaica, like how I gave my professor a lecture in Jamaican. Right. But it wasn't say kya 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 brawling. Right, you know right, I mean? right, right, right. have a formal register. Right. This was a prime minister at the base level speaking to his people. And I'm saying, no, this is the same man who had been running a campaign against Sister P and one of the <laughs> issues that was used in that campaign was the fact that she used Jamaican. Right. You know, and they kept on saying as though because Sister P was you know, fluent in Jamaican. That means that she don't have any sense. You know, but, you but, um, I, allow, I, I, allow, allow me to kind of like kind of go into the provocative moderator role, right? Yes. Um, suppose somebody bounces back and say, "No, we don't have." Any problem with Sister P talking to Jamaica, you know. But she must have the flexibility to skillfully and competently speak the Queen's English also. Which is what I hear people say, actually, that is why I'm saying this to but you. She can yeah. speak English. Yeah, right. Yeah, Sister P deliver herself in foreign with the ILO and all of them big right. UN agencies. Right. She can flex. But, but, but I remember somebody laughing because she called Veronica Campbell, Veronica Campbell. So I said, listen, in English is Veronica, 
in French is Veronique, and in Jamaican is Vernica. Right. And just shut up. Because, you know, the idea that if you pronounce a word in a Jamaican way, that means you now the pronunciation is inferior. And, you know, even Jamaicans who drop their 80s and so, I say if somebody is speaking English who, whose mother tongue is French, they're going to drop their 80s. Hello, how are you? You know, gonna, but nobody's going to laugh at them. No, no, Professor Cooper, I have always said that, that when foreigners come here and they, they speak another language or they're raised in another language, yes. raised in another vernacular, and they, and they tear up the English and slaughter it, people are very accommodating and yes. very understanding. When our own Jamaica, you know, make a look at music, because I think that, that the problem with Sister P right you now is at a level where... She can't, she can't do nothing right, really, you know. Mm. If me attack on TV and me go say, could People when we pay me the money. Make sister P go say, could yeah. Bought something now with her. And she's immediately um, persecuting and, uh, you know, and so yes, forth. And I mean, that is just, in terms of politics, that is just a good example of how language impacts how people see you, you know, and they make judgments about you, about your intelligence and stuff. And it's pure foolishness because the fact that you speak in Jamaica no mean that you have any less sense than people are speaking English because people chat a lot of foolishness in English. Well, let, 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 let me ask you something and tell me what is going on here. Mm-hmm. Well, what Years ago, this was a long time election, but watching TV with some friend on a South and, um, you know, the, the the issue was that somebody didn't sound like a politician, mm. sound like a leader. And then I heard then somebody else was speaking and they were, you know, they reeled out, uh, you know, some a, a bunch of multisyllable words. And the accent mm-hmm. was um, distinctly non-Jamaican and so forth. But in my estimation, the person wasn't really saying anything. You know, it, was a, it was a usual general. We need to improve education. We need to have better. Nothing of substance in, in terms of details or anything new in terms of um, a strategic vision. or anything. So I turned to the gentleman and I said, so what you think about that person? Then? What I'm really I say? Mm-hmm. And the, the, the person listened to the, 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 the person on the TV who are real out, you know, the British thing or whatever. And him say, Right, I know, I know what I'm saying, but him sound like a leader. What, <laughs> what, 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 what happened there in terms of aesthetics and presentation well, and the sound and what's going on there linguistically? Well, I think it's back to this whole problem of colonialism and uh, the assumption is that from you come with a British accent or no, an American accent, that is the voice of authority. So we don't even listen to the content of what the person is saying. From the tone a certain way, right. it must be chatting sense. And I think that when Garvey talks about emancipation from mental slavery, this is what he's talking about, that we must be able to be analytical and we can say, this makes sense, that makes sense. It don't matter who is saying it. It don't matter what accent them have. The important thing is listening critically to what they are saying. But we are caught up with externals. And as we say, we have a certain image. If you wear a suit, then people see you seriously. If you wear a T-shirt, then you're not serious. Right. Right, right, right. You know right. what I mean? So we make these judgments about clothes, about, it's just about appearance, how you represent yourself. If you wear too much African clothes, they say, oh, you're a Rasta, you're cultural, and they may not see you as being appropriate to carry to certain high class functions where mm-hmm, you're mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yeah. mm-hmm. You know, you can't take this, or you can't yes, do that. You know. But tell me something, relating. Oh, you are wearing a nice costume. <laughs> Is that and I done them, I done you, you know. I know. Is I done, that close I that done the rich, them, I done you. Oh my God, your yeah, costume yeah, looks so up. good. Let yeah, me just cut my, when them tell me about me love my costume, me, yeah. just, me just cut my ass. You ever hear them bossy people around. when them are done eight, me say them the easy, the prof, them bitter. I like them to say, did you see Charlene? I think she forgot which party she was. It's not Halloween yet, is it? Exactly. <laughs> but tell me something, prof. I, I, I find it fascinating that we're now at a time where I hear people, and this is you know, related to what you were saying in terms of the register in some way, but I hear people actually saying there is good patois and bad patois. What's going on? We, well, we are at a point where we have good patois. Like patois is not totally bad anymore. There is well, good patois and bad patois. What well, is going on there? Well, the way I would answer that is to say that you have grammatically correct patois and ungrammatical patois. <laughs> 
<laughs> and that idea is something that people find very distressing. I remember a few years ago I was talking to some students in the courtyard at our faculty, humanities and education, and I made this point about you can have ungrammatical patter. And the student gets so he said, Miss Nobody come with no ungrammatical something because you know, they associate grammar with English and stress to learn the right thing. But I said to them, if you listen to a non Jamaican trying to speak Jamaican and them don't get it right. You're getting ungrammatical patter because them don't understand the rules of the language. So sometimes in Jamaica we say you're coming. So right. it's a different structure and then you can have the same you're coming. That is a statement, you're coming. A question, you're coming. Or a command, you're coming. So it's the same two words. Right. Just the pitch, just the way you say it. The, the letter, tone, the yeah. different meanings. But Prof, tell me something. You know say. I hear a DJ talk one time, you know, and him, and him say, and him, him a try if he boast you up the thing at that moment, you know. And the DJ talk, and the DJ go say, something like, and you know, me told him, you know. Exactly. No, and him say, me told him. Yes. And then them start to nasty him up. Of course. And then, hold on, but the, 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 the irony in all of that, he was speaking what I refer to as jamglish. <laughs> Yes. But the irony in all of that, that the DJ was actually grammatically correct. But if you were speaking the straight part, I'm going to tell him, yes, and which is incorrect English. grammatically. Well, no, but when the DJ because, said, me told him. No, but you see, me and told don't go because me is a wrong pronoun. Me come from Jamaican. Exactly. So if you use told, that is English. You can to say, I told. I told. You no, but the point I'm making, they had a problem so with the told. It's Jamaican and it's ungrammatical English because they mix up and blend <laughs> Either say me tell him or I told him. No, but what I'm saying, the, no, but the irony is that the person at the moment say, What, wait, wait, man, him, him chat by the evening, we say, me tell him, if you say, well, right? Yes. But, well, of but, he's right. but I must if call he, a DJ if, name. If he's Jamaican or Patras, he said, must have grammatically correct. Pastor would be me tell him. Me tell him. Yes, yeah, so the person is right. So the uh, told part is okay for English, but not for Jamaican. So, but, but, but cannot avoid mixing. Yeah, but you see, part of the problem, you know, is that sometimes some Wait, people one second, the prof. One second, and yes, and we're ready, and then do everything on time. Over yeah, man, that's all right. One second, so we're going to make uh, the, the boss, I uh, read it, read, read the headlines, and we're coming right back to you, yeah? Hey, yeah, man, we're up in the night, and don't know, so I rock a shanty live with me, the king of mix up and thing on Wednesday, so we're in a culture corner, yeah? And we're, we're very fortunate to have with us today Professor Carolyn Cooper, who is, um, speaking with us on, um, some of the, some of the dynamics associated with our relationship with, um, language and so forth. Yes, bro, so you were saying that if you, if you are chat, there is a grammatically correct way to speak yes. Patois, just so as there is a grammatically correct way to speak English. Absolutely, so it's mix up and blend that thing. Uh, work all the time. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> <laughs> One of the problems is that you, you, I know if you listen to the ITM Francis Cat show where them go out on the road and ask the people them for translate the Jamaican into English, mm -hmm. uh, all the people them do just round up their mouth and use the same structure <laughs> thing. And then people up and round up your mouth to speak in English. But so, you so know, say, if you say, me did I go down there yesterday to speak, say that in standard English. Me did I go down there yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Put on an accent and then you think you're speaking English. Mad. Put fun and joke aside, you know, Raga. The problem I have is it like the children them in school, right. particularly boy children, who are not really learning because people are teaching them in a language that they don't know. And I wrote a column this week called Finding Elusive Men. And I see you know, I talk about going to Helsha and talking to some of the young men, leave school without any certificates. Mm -hmm. And one of them said, after, you know, him never get any subject, him doing plumbing now, Teddy, and him say, him got into computers for entertainment. Like, and when him go on the computer, him said to himself, I be a writing for this, I be a be a reading and writing, because him never realized now, say, from your own computer, you have to know how to read and write. Oh, Lord. And he said, mm -hmm. all of them get on to the start of the email now, and him friend them, I ask him, how him takes so long to answer the email him. Him say, him can't spell some of the words, you know? Mm -hmm. And 
the people on the Gleaners blog who respond to that call. I said, boy, let me tell you, me don't know who them so don't. One man, you know, writing and said that, oh, you know, um, you know, it's pure foolishness, me saying I'm not supposed to be teaching no English and not teaching nobody nowhere in Jamaica. And one of them said, I agree with you. This is the same woman that is supporting the foolishness of Ragasanti. Two educated people that should be espousing upliftment of the masses are doing quite the opposite, you know? And it's like... And, and I want to go on record and say it again. When them get by your case with that, them don't see when you draw me up publicly and privately. Yes. And it, again, people over and over again, Professor Cooper, as I repeatedly, you know, admonish me about the way I do certain things. <laughs> no, 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 but no, but, but you, you always do it with respect, you know, Prof. You have never, never not one time when you say, you draw me about something, I feel like, say, you do it like, say, you're better off than me, or you're superior to me. Then how you bad up, my friend, Leah Kim, say, Marshall, when him try to do the same thing. No, but Leah Kim rank. Rank, no, Lea Kim go but Lea Kim chut the pan another radio station and I talk about why am I say, me can't say oh me can't the pan radio three hours a day like some people and I do not and I'm a true word oh, oh. and it makes some other statement which I can't I'm not allowed what to mention on radio I think and well on and then I know but him man, him, him, him no good, him, him, no, him, but prof prof him done me wicked wicked in other instances with other people and then I give me a heel all right, all right, all right. But me not go there. But me okay. just want you read them. You, you hear me? Don't know why me keep calling your listeners, your readers. Yeah, yeah. But me want you listen to them. No, say so it is our bona fide brethren. So they must make where you your experience with him stop them from recognizing. They really have a lot of contribution to me. You remember like all when him did do um the the night doctor and them program. No, you know, no. So? Then I'm one of them two where we we really set it for somebody yeah. like me for yeah. that. No, no. I would never, never, never. Yes. It, because what, wait, when me and him talk, me tell him, you know, I say, Leah, him, I you don't know how many times me stand up and defend him. Because, you know, the whole Rasta thing, and then <laughs> him kind of change, him kind of had made some adjustment in his outlook and so forth. And I tell him, give it to him about the sellout thing or whatever. Yeah. And on many occasions, I defend the Leah Kim's man. I said, listen, people grow. And you have to appreciate yeah. that, that people well. grow and them find what make them happy. And sometimes changes and adjustment yeah. make. Somebody may leave Adventist and go turn Baptist and let yeah. Baptist go turn Adventist. You can't just get past some other case. And well, a, and we a, want to take credit for him for cutting locks because me keep telling him, say, the ball head and the locks never work. So I'm saying, like, <laughs> All off the whole head. And when so it, 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 it take off must about 15 years off of him. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it look. But, but one of the things I have to say, back to the even the writing, the column and stuff, and yeah. me and the gleaner, that is one of the reasons now when I had to start up my blog, you know, and they are very good. They will now link my column to the blog. The blog is called Carolyn Joy Cooper dot wordpress dot com and well what on, I, well on. What, what's the name again carolyn, carolyn joy, joy Coop- is my middle name okay. carolyn joy, joy cooper, cooper. Dot dot w- WordPress. WordPress. Yeah, W-O-R-D Press dot com. Right. And what I'm doing now, every week on my blog, I'm just translating the English column into Jamaican. Nice, on the nice. Blog. Because a lot of people are interested in the language. No. And I am not going to, I say, I, Dina don't want me to use English Jamaican on them page because they um, think that uh, English is high and Jamaican is low. So I say, all right. Newspaper. Professor Cooper, Professor Cooper, Master God bless me for do a good amount of traveling in my young age. Mm-hmm. And everywhere, and everywhere I go, everywhere I go, the people them love the Jamaican language. Mm-hmm. The only place you find people who do not like the Jamaican language is in Jamaica. Well, I know. We just are ashamed of it. And you know, one of the things that I love about Miss Lou is when Miss Lou tried to explain to us where the language come from. Mm-hmm. We create this thing. And I mean, you know, she's saying that it's something that we should respect and be proud of. But it's like, we just, is part of the problem, you see, is that we don't understand where the language come from. Is our African ancestors come here speaking African languages. So if we didn't have any respect for the African languages, 
then we would respect what we as African people did with English. And it's a consistent pattern of change. You see, when you go to div- you go to a place of the Cape Verde Islands. Right. Um, our, our Mr. Cape Verde, where them have a Creole that is very similar to what we create in in um, the Caribbean. Because it's like when the European languages mix up with the African languages, you get certain consistent grammatical changes. Now, remember, now, I'm not an expert in this. I'm not a linguist. Right. I am just moonlighting in the people them subject. Right. Who will be a good person for Professor it? Devonish. Professor Devonish, who set up mm-hmm. the Jamaican Language Unit at the university. Right. But I just want to read a little thing from Miss Lou. Yes, yes, yes. I tell you where Miss Lou just set it out humorously, mm-hmm. but very accurately. And it's in her book called Auntie Roche Say. She used to have the radio program, Miss Lou's Views, and then Professor Mervyn Morris. He was another person that I like to have from Culture Corner. Mm-hmm. Him do a lot of work to bring out the importance of Miss Lou. I hear what Miss Lou say. Listen now. My Auntie Roche said that it boil her temper and really begs her for true. Any time she ain't about style with Jamaica dialect as corruption of the English language. Mm-hmm. For if that be the case, then I should have called English language corruption of Norman, French, and Latin, and all entire language what they say that English is derived from. Mm-hmm. Only hear the word derived. Mm-hmm. English is a derivation, but Jamaica dialect is corruption. <laughs> what an unfairity we derive to. And Rosie said that if Jamaica dialect is corruption of the English language, then it is also a corruption of the African tree language too. Oh, oh. For Jamaica dialect did start when we English forefathers did start most and bound with African ancestors. We stopped talking with the African language altogether. I learned to talk also English because we English forefathers couldn't understand what we African ancestors then was said to them one another when they was talking in the African language to them one another. But with African ancestors, them pop with English forefathers, them, yes, pop them, and disguise up the English language, if you project, see them African language, in such a way that we English forefathers, them still couldn't understand what we African ancestors, them was a talk about when it was a talk to them one another. Mm-hmm. Yes, boy. So till now, although plenty of Jamaica dialect words, them come from English words, yet still and for all, the talking is so so Jamaican. And when we ready, we can make it sound like it not got no English at all in it. <laughs> and a no so so English talking smuddy can't understand where we are saying if we don't want them to understand where we are saying our work. And we fix up with dialect words for sound like whatsoever we are talking about look like. For instance, when we say something kuru kuru up, you know so that it mark up, mark up. And if we say one house ruku ruku up, it is plain to see that it all and shaky shaky. Yeah. And when we say somebody bugu yaga, everybody knows so that him out of order. And if we say them bunu nunus, you know so that them nice and we like them. Mm-hmm. And the road said that Jamaica dialect is far more direct and to the point than English. For I like how English smarty would say, go away. Jamaican just say, go away. And the only time we use more words than English is when we want to make something sound strong. Like when we them say something, batter, batter up. It sounds more expressive than if you say it is battered. <laughs> but most of all, we fling where all the banger and trimmings them and what they left what wanting. And that's why when English smarty say, I got stuck by a prickle, Jamaican just say, maka juke me. So, see, with Jamaica language is not no English language corruption at all. Oh. I went off his shame head, like one girl who go out England go represent with Jamaican folk song, one shift me got as the soul on the wear garment I possess. And go sing, Mumma Mumma then catch Papa as Mother Mother, they apprehend the father. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, this, you know, like Miss Lou, right? That? Miss Lou, man. You know, and it's, you know, it's like we refuse to accept. The simple truth that our language is not something to be ashamed of. And it don't mean that we cannot master English. Not no wrong with the pity them head why them can't learn English. But, but um, Prof, it's a part of the problem here is um, in Jamaica, we Jamaicans on a whole, we're very ambitious people. Yes. And we have um, different um, cultural imperatives that we have to fulfill that would, you know, guarantee or, or demonstrate that we are in fact we are going somewhere. Yes, we are yes, moving. Okay. Are no, no. But, oh, no. But in order to do that, we are very preoccupied with stratification. And, we're, you know, we're really into 
if we're more than them hmm. or if we're up there. In other words, Jamaicans, a lot of Jamaicans are really into being at the top. But, yeah. you, but you can never, never, never be at the top if you're not seeing somebody at the bottom. Mm-hmm. If you're not seeing nobody below you, that means you're not at the top. You know? And one of the ways in which you see people below you, in other words, establish that demarcation of difference. No, 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 no. One of the ways you establish difference right now mm-hmm. is, is through the language. Yes. So what I'm saying, it's almost like what you're asking them to do it's really difficult for them because it requires a maturity from them to say that person who speaks that way may you know is a is of um, equal value to me in so many ways. Everybody can be on top. You know, you know, many times I see you down as me, me almost a CTC, you know, Edna Manley. You know, many times I see you certain place profan people come up to you, Doctor Cooper, and automatically me I tell you come watch you on a fast. You turn around and you say, no, 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 Carolyn, Carolyn. No, no. All right, but what I'm saying to you, you have a next set of people. As then get the title. Mm-hmm. Then work, I don't want nobody. I am Dr. So and so and this and that. I'll use it, some of them I'll use it in an email address. Yeah. Dr. So is an email address. And then I'll put BA back at the name. Mm-hmm. And uh, yes. with them so tight focus and thing. And once you're so tight, I was just using that as an example. Mm-hmm. What they're continuously doing is saying, I am Your different life. from you. I have arrived. Me, they're the top. You, they're the bottom. You understand? So for them, for reach a point that when I accept the language, that's something we should be proud of. No, I don't know. It will require some internal adjustment. Emancipation from mental slavery. But them now, reach a, my, no. fill up, my argument is... Don't try to teach them nothing at the time. We are trying to teach and we are well, wasting time. Well, this is it too. You know, you are wasting time on them. Because yes. Because all, all when I read them clean up blog this week, yes. and I said to my sister, she's an attorney in the States, and she, you know, when I write the column, I send them to her and to another friend of mine, Cecile Semaj, and them give me a little feedback for it. I said, I said, me no feel for bad to write no column again. Because when I see the things that the people them write about me, I said, liberty come from carelessness, man. The people them just a take step with me because me trying to say that them have to take the Jamaican language seriously. If it, if it, don't make them get to you. And my sister tell me, said, you know what you do? Don't even read what them write. Just go on, do your right. Go on, do your thing, because prof. If you because there are your people like we, there are many of us out here who feel, let me tell you something, man. You know how much time me there are and, and and like, I want to express myself with something. I mean, know exactly how I say it in Jamaica, but I cannot, I cannot find like an English. It's weird. equivalent. Like, I can't translate it, you know, but it just won't have don't the same have the sweetness because nuance. Because it's our mother tongue. I describe English as my stepmother tongue. You know, yes, it's mine, but it's still a little distance. I remember one day I was going to Hilltop, a police stopped me. And the first thing I said to myself is, I wear my blow me for. I would never say, no, why is he blowing? Mm-hmm. I wear my blow me for. Mm-hmm. That is my mother tongue. And in the end, I remember telling him about how he must sell a raffle ticket. I said, raffle ticket? I said, I'm going to Hilltop those days. You could use a hundred dollars and buy a fish. And I said, all I have is my fish money. The worthless policeman tell me, say, we must walk, we must remember for walk with emergency money. <laughs> but I mean, I, why am I now going to deny that a way my blow me for is my mother tongue? No, no wrong with it. Prof, one, uh, at one point I was in school and we, and, and you're probably familiar with this call of, from uh, Ngugi Wathiongo. Yes, man, from Kenya. From Kenya. Brilliant, 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 man. I teach him sometimes. Yeah, like absolutely brilliant in terms of, um, you know, knowing the material, a language and so forth. But obviously right from the heart, too, and it's quite the activist and so forth. And it was at that time that I figured out that language carries culture. Absolutely. Culture carries identity. Ideology. And identity carries existence. Yes. And at that point, it was like a moment of epiphany for me. Come here and say, yo! I am alive. This is who I am with my language. Why the backside me must turn my back on it? Because somebody else okay. want me for be something else or impress them. So And then me go unhappy because oh. me so preoccupied with impress them, with impressing them. You so what me say is, me go stop trying to impress them and be happy. No, be yourself and the world will adjust because the world must adjust. You can't. It's 
just like I heard a lady in the breakfast club a long time ago, and they was talking, and she said to them, chat, make me understand. You understand? <laughs> you, know, you want me to be in the conversation, chat, make me understand. I mean, say, even me, who me thinks of me so conscious, me go to one hotel a couple years ago, and we're waiting for food to come. Now, as soon as food comes, I'm going to say, we'll be bright self to one waitress. Any prospect of edibles? The girl just looked at me and said, I don't understand one word you just said. <laughs> Come across my word, word to me. me. Come across my word, word to me. I feel like a dog because I said, I don't know where go about any so, prospect. Where's the any edibles. prospect of edibles? Let me tell the girl, let me just laugh and say, any food come in, the girl laugh and say, yes, man, food. No, that just should have a long time. I <laughs> said, from the start. You no, know, but, but you know, the, the English people who know English, sometimes they're very, them even forget to say that sometimes some of the expressions they're going to use are people not going to understand. And, you know, you, you're going like, well, because that person don't understand, no, you better than them. Nothing like that. Communication is about ex, you expressing yourself in a way that the other person will understand. So, I mean, finally, you know, I mean, people are listening, we're... Where you think we should be going as a nation with respect to our relationship with the Jamaican language? I know you have said you have said this many, 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 many times, but just you know, one more time. Twelve, yes, twenty twelve is fifty years of so-called independence. Mm-hmm. We have not emancipated ourselves from that mental slavery. My vision is that when a child comes into the classroom in Jamaica. You teach a child in a language that they know. If you come, middle class children don't generally have this problem, you know. The middle class children, when they come to school, they already know English. I may have to tell you that me have to big up Jamaica Library Service because I grew up as a teenager in Norman Gardens and every I may mean, think it must be every other week. The bookmobile used to come to Windward Road um, School. I um, used to go down there and get as many books as me could get for the week, for whatever the period. I um, used to read and read and read. I mean, know that that is how my vocabulary build up and I learn English from reading. Okay? A lot of the children coming to school not have that, don't have that advantage. But mm-hmm. I'm saying, if you come into school and you don't understand the language that the teacher uses, how are you going to learn anything? That's you understand? That's so what I'm saying is that we need to acknowledge that Jamaican is a language, recognize it is a different language from English, and then use the language that the children know as a basis to teach them what they don't know, and you can teach them even English using Jamaican. I, I want to emphasize what you're saying here is the formula for our Jamaican children to excel yes. and master English is to use Jamaican yes. to teach them that English. Yes. You have to. You cannot teach a child in a language that they don't understand. I went to give a little talk for Heritage Week and this headmistress said, she said like a boy in the schoolyard and she said to him, whose class are you in? He picked up and said to her, Amos, whose class are you in, Amos? Because she catch up on herself and asked him, who are you teacher? And the child immediately tell it, the, the headmistress who is his teacher. Is. Now can you imagine that little boy in a classroom <laughs> where all him saying to himself for the whole day is, Amos? Because he don't understand one damn thing that they are saying to him. And then I'm going to turn around and say, is something wrong with the yeah, child? You know? Know. And and this, this is another thing I always impress upon people. Whenever someone is communicating to people and the people are not understanding, it's never the listener's fault. No, it's it's never the language. listener's fault. It's always the communicator's fault. And unfortunately, we have a paradigm here among these elite people here that they can speak his pokey. And if you don't understand, too bad for you. Too bad for you. You need to go get educated and think I'm a can. We can't talk to them, but to people, you know, re, 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 this and that. Uh, but the politician, the master, you know, when I look the vote, you know, you mean? the patois, the Wait, best thing. We started when Bruce got down uh, in community, if we can't talk to the people, then we should I hear him. Mm-hmm. You're an apprentice to him. No, you no, not that. Mm-hmm. Then can't talk the things, man. And you know, I say, I. With all due respect, Prof, you know that you so must be yourself and thing like that. And it has always intrigued me. When I listen to them, I say, do these people really speak like that when they're having sex? No, I do don't not. think they I do. Tell my students all I the swear them deep up in the pot when they're having sex. They do not make love or have sex in, in English. In English. It's pot when they come on. Oh, Marie! Prof, say, oh, yeah, yeah. Is that? 
<laughs> what if the same people them that mm. saying you don't want the pit them for learn uh. English because you're saying use a bit of them language for teach them. These are the same people I believe who really do not want the children to learn English under the pretense that them want the people them to learn English because if everybody can speak English now, them not grab no no the people them. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. What you're saying is that many of these people come up with this criticism about uplifting the people and making them better and improving the country. The truth is, if those people are uplifted to that point, where them they're on equal level with them, don't want. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I am thank you. Thank you. The odd years, however, years we start to try to get universal education and all these And we see the thing is not work, working. The people, they're not learning. At the university, Raga, you were teaching at the university. I don't know why you stopped teaching. Me want to know, say, if radio and classroom are the same thing. You really know if sign the contract for go back to teach? The university and I, um, we were experiencing mm-hmm. a right. profound no, but no, but identity that. clash. Yeah, but that, that no mean you couldn't go and teach still. No, that, but that no, but me and him would end up a war. Me no, some, I, I mean, I try for no war. Them, you know. Even seen at the panel radio show. You well, know, well, well, bass, well, batter, batter, you. well, all right. But, me. What me I say now? At university level, how can you have students at university level that not writing English properly? We have to send them to get remedial English, and these represent now the best. Because me see some application that some of the people them in and some of the other universities is stone dog right. I mean, no people vex with me if you use that expression. But they are rather worse than our students. If our students at UWI represent at a certain level the cream of the crop and some of them write so bad, this is a, 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 a com- it is an indictment of our educational system. Something is fundamentally wrong. And, yeah, what that, that, and, what that, uh, and what you're saying is that, uh, and what you're saying is that, and what you're saying is that, people will hear you said that, and I said, but you're contradicting yourself. And again, the point you're making is part of the reason why they cannot master English is that they're being taught English in a language that is strange to them. And in fact, one of the things that when you tell people now that you want to teach English as a second language in Jamaica, it's not a foreign language because English is spoken in Jamaica. So the technical expression is English as a second language. You cannot choose your first language, you know. Your first language is a language you learn first. So the first language that most of us in Jamaica learn from we are in our mother's belly is Jamaican. Thank your you. Your mother talking just a lot. Pick me call your first language, your mother tongue. See it there. Is a language where your mother talk to you in. See it there. Let me tell you, my grandmother come from Mile Gully and she was very stush. And all Wait, which Mile Gully? Manchester I sent me. St. Elizabeth. St. Elizabeth. Okay. Mm-hmm. She always so it's too stush. Let me tell you, see, she got sick. And she was in the hospital, and she was delirious. And I hear some breed of patois from my grandmother in her delirium that I had never heard her speak consciously. So that whole level of language had been repressed. Right. You understand? Right. And what is conscious is one thing versus your unconscious. And a lot of them stush people who go in on like them, you know, them better than you because you are saying that Jamaican is a language. It is something that African people created out of African languages. And we are proud of our African languages. We have words like Nyam. Nyam is a word that coming straight from the tree language of Ghana. But you see what happened? In Africa, Nyam mean eat. By the time Nyam come over here now, Nyam mean you eat food like a hog. In other words, it's not normally, it's not the neutral eating. Eating again. No, it I, now have negative. And, and it's somebody, negative and it's somebody demonized the word. Yeah. You know, see, there's yeah. another word. There's this lady from Ghana who come here and, and we hear mampi. All this time he thinks a mampi is a word we make up down there. No. She said, no, mampi is a full-bodied lady from Africa. But all that I'm say, that, I do, that, but that, me the day I think no. a mampi, I about but, to talk, I, 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 but another P word, we can't call it because it's decent afternoon radio. A right, P right. word that related to female body parts. Right, right. That is why we even call some yam like that. Okay. Nice fat yam. And that no, but you can't refer to it in the context of yam. That P word. You can't say pum pum yam. Pum pum yam, right. Some straight 
from, Three, yeah. from West Africa, and it means exactly, good year, good year. It good. Mean exactly what we use it for. Okay, okay. It's exact same word. Okay, okay, okay. But in the African language, it is okay. By the time it come over here now, it is something bad, because everything African is negative. And that is why Miss Lucy, she not going to say our language corrupt. English walk street and borrow French, then borrow Latin, then borrow Greek, then borrow this, and everything mix up pretending. No, to but the way, the way you refer to it, when you talk about corrupt, the way your English, English. Is the biggest part of No, but English go on and just, just did involve with everybody, so. Yes. English did just a dash out itself, yes. and just a thief, so, <laughs> and thing, and then come and kind of not go like, say, them what they said, everybody yes. else. Velma, call out the writer. <laughs> Velma, go and vex you, never mix her up. But Velma said them talk about Mother England, and she never realized, we said, how much mothers, Mother England have in the Commonwealth. She said, must have been a very loose woman. <laughs> <laughs> only no, me always say that to, me always say that to say the Queen of the other state, and thing, and I went one bag of picnic, and thing, and she not really look for me, she said, Achilles, mama. But we have to be careful, can people, will you know? I know. Professor I Carlin know. Cooper. See that thank you so much for talking with us today. I'm we really man. appreciate it, okay? Are you take care, okay, you know? Okay, bye, bye, bye. Yes, and I want people to know that uh, you know, the, within the context of the thing or whatever, we are behaving ourselves when there's a certain thing. But it's okay to say pum pum yam. And men, it's okay to publicly state that you consume, you know, gravelliciously. Pum pum yam. Um, we take a break. We'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> 